Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm gonna talk about a phenomenal supplement that I recommend to a lot of my patients, which helps with mood, helps with memory, helps with sleep, helps decrease appetite, as that to appetite to depression, and that is 5-HTP. Now, 5-HTP is short for 5-hydroxytryptophan. Now, we make this in our body, and I went over this in a previous video. We start off with tryptophan, L-tryptophan is amino acid. We take it in either by supplement or by diet. That crosses the blood-brain barrier to make 5-HTP. And then for 5-HTP, that's converted to serotonin with these constituents. And then from serotonin, it gets converted to melatonin, and melatonin helps us sleep. However, with these steps, if there is an obstacle in these steps, the end result is not going to happen. So for example, for tryptophan to get converted to 5-HTP, we need iron. Now, if you have malabsorption syndrome or leaky gut and you're not absorbing the iron, especially with anemics, then the conversion from tryptophan to 5-HTP is not going to happen. Also, we need insulin to help with the blood-brain barrier crossover. So again, for the diabetics or insulin-resistant patients or people, that conversion is not going to happen. So when we get to 5-HTP, the serotonin, we do need the B vitamins. We need particularly B6, B12, and folate to convert 5-HTP to serotonin. Now again, if you have malabsorption syndrome, or you're not taking in enough B vitamins, or some type of condition where or you're taking a medication which blocks the absorption of B vitamins, then that conversion is not going to happen, as well as magnesium. Now serotonin to convert to melatonin, we need the help of the catecholamine norepinephrine. Now again, dopamine is also made through the norepinephrine system. So we need norepinephrine to make uh, melatonin as well as dopamine and that's in another video. But also too, we need darkness to convert serotonin to melatonin. So what happened is, so this is why I recommend 5-HTP as a supplement as opposed to tryptophan. Because 5-HTP as a supplement, the brain utilizes it better. It actually utilizes about the 70% by taking the, five, the, the supplement, 5-HTP. Because the ultimate goal is that you want to increase the serotonin levels because the serotonin, this is the brain chemical that calms the limbic system. It helps with mood, it helps with memory, it helps with cognition, it helps with satiety. Now this helps calm hunger. Okay, so the ultimate goal is that once you increase your serotonin levels, you're gonna feel better. Also, too, if you increase your serotonin levels, you want to increase your, you're going to increase your melatonin levels. So this is where you're going to get the better quality sleep. So how I work with my patients in the treatments is that, again, it helps with depression and anxiety. Now, if they're taking an anti-anxiety and antidepressant already, this is where I avoid it. Okay, because you don't want to add on 5-HTP if they're already on antidepressants or anti-anxiety. That's when I always recommend they work with their healthcare professional to help lower the antidepressants, help lower the anti-anxiety medications because you don't want to take 5-HTP if you're taking that. Fibromyalgia blocks pain. Again, with a fibromyalgia patient, if they are on an anti-anxiety antidepressant, I do not recommend 5-HTP unless until they go off of that and they, and they follow the healthcare professional and lower the dosage, eventually tapering off the antidepressant anti-anxiety. Migraine headaches, phenomenal for migraine because it decreased the reoccurrence of migraines. And sleep, sleep because you are, your goal is to increase the serotonin, which is gonna increase the melatonin to increase the better quality of sleep. Now again, if they're sleeping better, this is where fibromyalgia is gonna decrease the pain because your ultimate goal of fibromyalgia patients is to get a better quality of sleep for muscle recuperation. Now the question I get is next is dosage. How much should I take? 5-HTP uh, comes in Typically 50 milligram and 100 milligram doses. I always recommend a capsule form for better absorption. And one thing in mind is that 5-HTP builds up in your system. So you want to start off low. You want to start, I always recommend start off slow with like 50 milligrams and then eventually work your way up. Because like with sleep, for example, with sleeping, I always recommend that you take up to 200 milligrams. You want to, you, I always recommend they take 100 milligrams at like six o'clock and then 100 milligrams before bedtime, like an hour before bed. So you want to accumulate the dosage up to 200 milligrams for better quality sleep. Now one side, of, again, a couple side effects. If you're taking too much 5-HTP, if you're experiencing the, these side effects, just back down. Just back down to find your dosage because everybody is an individual. 
Some side effects that will occur if you experience nausea, back down. Low appetite. If you find out you're, low, you're losing your appetite, it's working because one of the goals of, with serotonin is to help decrease hunger. Nightmares. Yes, 5-HTP will actually, too much of it will give you nightmares. And also, too much 5-HTP will, will decrease your libido. Because when you have too much serotonin in the brain, serotonin, the, the side effect of serotonin is to decrease your sexual drive. So if that happens, just back down. So 5-HTP is a phenomenal supplement. I recommend it to a lot of my patients who are experiencing a lot of these, these conditions. And it works. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Dr. Juwad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching.